Despite output, despite output increases of 21 horsepower and 44 pounds to foot, the engine feels much the same, although we found a slight dead spot at the bottom of the power band before the turbo spools up. The 8-speed automatic transmission fires off crisp, smooth shifts and generally chooses the right gear, and we managed to catch it out in corners only one sort wise. It's good, but it's not as perfectly predictive as Porsche's PDK programming nor as engaging as the previous generation's 7-speed dual-clutch Astronic unit. And, as is the way of the world, the old car's 6-speed manual has gone the way of the Mastodon, sacrificed to the technical needs of the semi-autonomous cars of tomorrow. Comfortable at speed The performance model's front end feels more planted than that of the A4-A5, the S5 tracks well and is easy to drive fast, although it's more autobahn attuned than it is a back road barnstormer. Roads with tight curves and elevation changes don't exactly upset the S5, but neither do they beckon to it. Long, fast sweepers and extended hours in the saddle seem to be the mission here, and we found the sporty coupe an exceptionally comfortable place to while away hours covering miles. So what to make of Audi's repeated assertion that its new coupe wins instant status in the Pantheon? If, in time, it stands out as a turning point in design, it could mark the moment when the once infallible styling squad in Ingolstadt faltered. Those who agree with us on the superiority of the original A5 have a little time left, since it continues in limited availability until this new one comes to America early next year. Even then, Four-ring loyalists might find themselves better served by the practicality and cleaner aesthetics of the S4 without giving up even a scotch of the coupe's dynamic pleasures. If, however, you're bent on style.